Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at a plane in three-dimensional space and how to find the vector equation representing that plane. Notice here we have a plane in three-dimensional space. Let's assume that we know one point on the plane and we call that point P sub naught which has coordinates x sub naught, y sub naught, and z sub naught. Of course, we can pick any other point on the plane, any arbitrary point, and call that point x, y, z. That's called the arbitrary point, and then we can draw a vector to the known point called the position vector r sub naught. We could draw a vector to the arbitrary point called r, and then we can draw a vector from the known point to the arbitrary point and call that r minus r sub naught. Now there's one more thing you need to define a plane. You need to define a vector which is perpendicular to the plane. If this is the plane, we need a perpendicular vector to the plane. So let's call n the normal vector or the perpendicular vector to the plane. Well, if n is perpendicular to the plane, then we know there must be a 90 degree angle between the normal vector and the vector that's drawn from the known point to the arbitrary point. Which means if we take the dot product of that vector, the dot product of two vectors which are orthogonal or perpendicular to each other must equal zero. Which means I can now call this dot product the normal vector dotted with the difference here with r vector minus r sub naught vector, I know that must equal zero because the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. I can also write this equation as follows. I can write this equation as the, the normal vector dotted with the r vector minus the normal vector dotted with the r sub naught vector. And that is equal to zero. When I move this to the other side, I can then write that the normal vector dotted with the position vector to the arbitrary point must equal the normal vector dotted with the position vector to the known point. And therefore, this equation, or in this format, those, it's the same equation essentially, but in those two different formats, represents the vector equation defining a plane in three-dimensional space. Again, you take the arbitrary r vector, which points to any arbitrary point. You have to have one point on the plane, and then you have to have a normal vector or orthogonal vector to the plane to define a plane in three-dimensional space. And that's how it's done.